<clears throat> Hi everyone, it's me Divine and welcome to Divine Miracles channel and I am doing the tarot mini forecast this week for the air signs Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. I'm going to use some different cards. To start off with I'm going to use the um, mythic tarot cards. This is a new deck of them. Um, I'm also going to throw in a surprise with these um, Hungarian gypsy cards. Okay, they're just a little bit of fun. It's nothing, you know, whatever. So it's just a little bit of fun just to add a little bit of joy, I guess, to the reading. And I'm also doing um, f for love and relationships and where you are working on healing. I'm, I'm working with my own domino love angels. Okay, so it's going to be interesting to see what comes through. So I do appreciate if some of you are watching um, and cross watching other signs and your sun, moon and rising sign. If you don't know what they are, Google it and you'll come up with like a calculator where you can put all your details in. Thank you for those of you who are here, um, subscribed, liking and sharing. Um, I do really appreciate it. The more people that share, the more that um, Google is going to know that, you know, I am who I am <laughs> and we can start growing our community a little bit. So uh, let's start off with uh, Aquarius. Okay, let's see what's going on with you guys. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my Mythic Tarot first. This is just a general reading. If you want something more in depth, please let me know. Okay, what's happening for Gemini? This will probably be for the next couple of weeks. Okay, just to cover it. And I try to give you a uh, emotion, sort of like something that you've been going through and something that might be coming up as well. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to put three cards together. Something that you're going through and something that might be coming up. Okay. Okay. So it looks like there's a lot of, for Aquarius, there's like juggling, partnerships, that kind of thing. All right. So the first one is the two of pentacles. Okay. So I'm feeling this is what you've been going through um, emotionally. And that is just like trying to, you know, put everything together, trying to work everything out. You've been going through lots of healing and upgrades. Your abilities have also awakened just recently on a higher level. And many of you have been feeling this ascension sort of symptoms. You've been releasing, you've been surrendering, you've been letting go, you've been working through healing. You're still trying to work out some things. Okay, there's some things that are a little bit rough. And that's what the Wheel of Fortune is here for. Just to tell you that, you know, you are truly turning the karmic wheel of your life. You are moving into this new direction and it's going to be far more abundant freer you know happier and less restricted than you've had before and you just need to watch where you are resisting the changes okay where you feel resistance in your life for things that are shifting so sometimes for example you know we want to do something as far as like we want to change jobs or something but there's a resistance there because you know we feel if we leave then we're not sure what we're going to um do next you know or whether it's going to sustain us so we hold a resistance to moving on which is what we actually really want to do so your faith and your hope and your you know direction needs to refocus itself because you just need to be in a state of surrender to your path and someone may come along here with the two of wands that you know may have been in the background sort of waiting for you to ask for help Sometimes that's our angels waiting there for us to say, hey, I need assistance in this situation kind of thing. And, you know, can you just lead the way forward or bring an opportunity or open my eyes or open my senses? So there's something here that you have been missing, uh, someone who's been waiting to help you that may again push forward. For others, this could also be talking about, you know, your a, a relationship or a business partnership, someone wanting to join forces with you, okay? It's up to you what you decide to do with that situation. You know, um, sometimes people have been in business in the past and it puts them off being in business, you know, again kind of thing. Sometimes this can also relate to a family situation, you know, where you've been the one that's been juggling everything, you've been the one that's been doing everything, you try to keep everything balanced, um, but you feel like it's too much. Okay, a lot of people are pulling away from situations that no longer serve anymore. And if this is you and you keep on repeating um, the same situation over and over again, it's time for you to make the decision to 
just shut it down and move away in a direction that's bringing you happiness, okay? I feel here for um, you, Aquarius, that you have a lot of skills and you have a lot of knowledge and you may be a little bit worried about bringing that to the forefront, um, you know, where you think I need to study more or I need to do more or there's always more, more, more. But that now is this point in time where it is the right turning of events for you for whatever that is in your life. Whatever you want to express, whatever creative opportunity that you want to do um, or whatever movement that you want to have in your life, make sure that there's no resistance to it still, you know. Let's have a look at the little gypsy cards as well just to give you a bonus message. And also we will do the where you're healing, love and relationships too. Okay, so you get that Aquarius? You know, it's time to just examine yourself a little bit where you are resisting the changes that are already basically taking place. Okay, don't be afraid to shine your light a little bit. All right. Okay, what's another message here for Aquarius? Mm. I think I need to take the two. Unexpected joy and gift. I like that. So something unexpectedly coming forward. Look at his face. It's like, oh my God, there's a treasure chest. There's money. There's all kinds of things here. This person looks like he's come from a far away. Like maybe this is someone that's come from a distance to bring you something. It could also be, you know, that you're um, expecting something and here it comes. But I don't know. I feel like because this is saying it's unexpected joy, I think it's more than you bargained for. I think you're actually getting more than you could even imagine. Something, something that is a bonus for you. And look at that, and gift as well. So it's unexpected joy, feeling happiness, because someone's coming forward with something surprisingly wonderful for you. And in both, uh, both of these cards, is like a little treasure chest with things spewing out look it's lucky i haven't really um looked at these cards properly yet um so i'm sort of looking at them for the first time with you yeah but i just feel like there is more money than you or more abundance than you actually can believe at the moment so don't limit yourself on what it is that you're going to receive um there's something in the air okay there's something changing for you and that's probably to do with the wheel of fortune as well you've put yourself in that place okay Aquarius this looks pretty exciting right and let's just have a look at love and relationships with the um, domino love angels and see where you at or where you are healing you know the loving energy and if you can see this little guy here this is my um, little stuffed wolf called Shiloh what you doing <laughs> and uh, I take him everywhere with me I love him okay so he stays in my room okay while well, I'm doing readings all right so okay Aquarius where you are healing or what's going on with love and relationships and these little cards ah I don't think we're meant to have all those okay Try again. Okay, where you're healing, love and relationships. Repairing. Okay. You are undergoing a time of repair now, and it's best to allow yourself this time. Allowing Adriel to help you at this time. Archangel Adriel repairing. All right. So that's what you've been working on. You've been working on, you know, the heart space. You've been working on lifting yourself into new directions. You're letting go of situations. You're repairing perhaps from a broken heart or having some kind of heartache. You know, you are in a stage all the time of healing. You know, we all are. And for you, in, for you to meet someone, if that's what you're trying to do or, you know, you're looking for the right person, make sure that you're in that repaired, strong state, that natural state of who you are before you even think about it. If you're already in, in a relationship, something between you is undergoing healing as well which is awesome and you can call in this angel Adriel A-D-R-I-E-L to help you know if there's any problems um, you know maybe if you're missing someone or something like this allow yourself to undergo this um, healing at the moment 
so that you can understand yourself a lot better and bring yourself forward into the right situations for yourself, you know. And then you will naturally attract the right person towards you too. So for Aquarius, you've got an amazing time. There's unexpected gifts. There's unexpected joy. Things happening that you can't believe. Things happening out of the blue. You've got the turning of events. You've got the juggling of things. You've got the balancing in your life of different sections. People coming and going. People offering you help and assistance. Don't be too afraid to allow them to do it, you know. And if you're really focusing on doing something um, for your own self, for your own life, and you really want to do it, focus on where you're resisting, okay, where you are causing resistance to what the universe is saying, hey, this is already here, you're blocking it by your resistance, okay? So hopefully you enjoyed that message, Aquarius, and I'm moving on to um, Gemini right now. So Gemini... I am using the um, Mythic Tarot cards for your reading. I've also got this fun little deck uh, of the, what are they called? Um, gypsy cards from Hungary. So we've got these little cards um, just to have a little bit of fun. And also where you are healing and love and relationships with the Domino Love Angels. Get to learn a little bit about angels in that way as well and their different names. And also what you're working on within yourself in order to be ready for the right person or whether someone's coming or whatever. Okay, so let's have a look. As I said, I'm using the Mythic Tarot. I am holding on to, when I can hold on to it, my um, Auralite Crystal, Auralite 23. I don't have many wands left. So, I mean, you won't be able to find wands on the internet at all. If you can, they're gonna be a fortune, so. Um, have a look, uh, divinemiracles.com forward slash catalog. Okay, there's a whole crystal store on there nobody knew about. Worldwide crystal, worldwide shipping all for free. Okay. All right. Um, Gemini, sun, moon or rising, let's go. What's happening for you? Please, if you want more in-depth readings or healing or working on something in particular or counseling, please get in contact with me. Okay, let's go, Gemini. What's happening for you? Oh, God, Gemini, you're just overburdened here. Feeling it. Okay, I'm doing three cards. This is going to be about sort of life and emotions and where you're heading. Okay. Or well, what's been happening or how you've been feeling. All right, we try to do this. The first one is the Wheel of Fortune, which is really good news because whatever it is that you've been going through, you're coming out of it. Okay, and I really like to see that. And we also had this for Aquarius, all right? I also like to see this as the karmic wheel. So something, you've let go of something. You've let go of a person or a situation or a problem in your life. And you've recognized this as being something that's quite um, draining to you spiritually, okay? Draining to you in all the things that you want to uh, do and finish and be in your life. Whatever that was, you've just like, oh, I, just, I just don't need that anymore. You're sort of like letting that thing go, okay? Which has led you into a place of um, feeling like, okay, I can do this. I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep on moving forward, okay? I can, I can get out of this, you know, you're talking yourself out of a situation and into an, a new thing, which is going to be more beneficial for you, okay? It may even be, like this card implies, some sort of apprenticeship situation or someone's offering you a position or someone's offering you a position where there'll be students there. Maybe you're studying, okay, or bringing yourself into um, more study for the things that you want to achieve for yourself. So, for example... Even though I've been doing healing and readings, etc., for like going on nearly 30 years, I'm still always developing skills. I'm always studying something. I read four or five books at a time, you know. So this is what you may be going through as well. A period of growth and knowledge and, you know, energy shifting, as well as, you know, maybe someone's offering you a new position. Um, sometimes this can be what this is or that you're putting your own skills and your own creative energy into a project that is dear to your heart and that it's going to be very successful because of the love in it. Because 
uh, for some of you Geminis, the Three of Swords has been hanging around. Now, the Three of Swords is there when there has been heartache. When your, oops, when your um, heart space is shrouded and dirty and, you know, just not attuned properly in here because of self-hate and self-judgments and worry and grief and, you know, concern and anxiety and hurt you know, from relationships and hurt from um, parents and all this kind of stuff, it all sits here. If it's not cleared out, it's a very hard thing for you to be able to breathe properly. You may have asthma attacks. You may have skin problems because of your it lungs not working properly. Okay, So there's come to a recognition perhaps here about your own health, about your own worth and about your own, you know, what you're doing to yourself kind of thing and how you hold things. Okay, there needed to be a release and perhaps lately there's been something sad or something that's made you, you know, really hurt inside yourself, um, a loss of some kind that has brought it all to the freaking surface, you know, and it's just like, oh my God, I've been carrying on with this and I've had this and I've had this and I've had this. And a lot of the times when people reflect on the issues that have happened to them in their life, they blame themselves. Well, maybe if I was this or if I was that or if I was this. And we have believed the projections of other people towards ourselves. So if someone says you're an idiot, that's the first thing you believe. Oh yeah, you know what, I, I must be an idiot because I've had this happen and this happen and this happen and it's been stupid every single time. So yeah, I must be an idiot. If someone says, hey, you're wonderful, you're so talented, you're so creative, a typical Gemini would be like, what do you mean? What are you trying to imply? Like, what do you, what do you actually mean by that? Like, what are you saying to me right now? Because I can't take it because what this is what we're thinking. Can't take it because, you know, it, it doesn't seem right because I'm an idiot and I'm this and I'm this and I'm this and I'm this. It's very hard for you to take compliments. You always believe the bad things instead of the good things. There are some Geminis who are, you know, quite fine with who they are. You know, that's cool. But if you're dealing with this heart space area, you're dealing with stress in here. You know, you are dealing with judgments about yourself and therefore believing that other people are judging you. And it goes on and on and on in everything that you do. There's coming a point here where that has to go. You know, where all that old stuff needs to deprogram and be tossed out. You know, and it's very important for you as you're moving forward in life that you're not harboring resentment of the way that people have treated you and also believing that what they've said is correct when actually... They're just projecting their own self, you know, hate onto you because you can emotionally feel it. And that's a very bad thing to do to somebody. It's time for it all to go. And maybe there's going to be a, a point here that allows the release. So if you've been having, you know, times where trigger points are happening and you're feeling upset, etc., it's all there to get it up and out because that's what really needs to happen with you. Okay. You know, that's... So many different levels to healing, you know. You can't just put band-aids on, on situations. You have to give somebody an understanding of why they've gotten to the place where they are. Then you can get to the healing. And I have just dropped some cards. <laughs> I'm going to pick these up. Okay, everybody. <laughs> All right. And it happens to me more often than it doesn't happen to me. All right, so let's do this. What else do the little gypsy cards say for you? Well, it's going to be a little, ah, that's it. Two. Okay, some money's coming, people. Okay, Gemini, and that's kind of relevant with the Wheel of Fortune and also the Three of Pentacles. Okay, uh, some money is coming, and also you've got the card of hope. Okay, and there's a lot of green. You see the healing in this. Okay, there's a lot of green in these cards. They've kind of, these are from Hungary. I mean, they've got three different languages on here. I think it's Hungary, French, and Australian. So maybe Italian as well, I don't know. Um, Australian, English. <laughs> okay, so money and hope for the future. So you're no longer anchoring. See yourself there, you're sort of letting yourself go. You're expecting good things to come, and they will come. You know, if someone else has called you names and made you feel stupid, 
don't believe them anymore. You know, it's the belief and the allowing of that belief that's, you know, created all these events which sort of like come up in your life to show you, you know, it's time to let it all go. It's time. Okay. And you're moving forward towards this. So let's see where you are actually healing and the domino love angels as well. Remember there's hope here and some money coming in. There's going to be a bonus. Oh, okay. So, all right. So <laughs> got some interesting cards for Gemini. We got the strong male, which I hadn't written up yet because I know Archangel Michael so well. And we got Archangel Duraccio, which is talking about flirting. And it says it's time for you to have some fun. You may be flirting or having fun with someone flirting with you. Okay. It may not be a full romance though. Just keeping it fun. And of course, Gemini likes to have a lot of fun. Okay. And the energy of Archangel Michael, the strong male. So remembering that when you're overwhelmed with things or you're, you're wanting to embark on a new relationship, that you're cleansing and clearing yourself of all the past. You're working on this heart space, removing you know, all of these little um, intricate details of who you are. And you're having fun. That's the biggest part. Whether you're flirting or not doesn't make a difference, you know. And this would naturally be flirting if you're single, okay. But you're having fun or you're flirting with your wife or your husband or, you know, you're just making it fun for yourself because Geminis love to laugh. You know, you love to be goofy. You love that side of life. So as long as you're keeping it that way, then you're going to manifest things. You're going to clear things. Whenever you get a negative um, thought about yourself, trace it back to where it came from in the first place and really have a look. You know, do, does that really matter? Does that person's opinion really matter? Or are they just projecting their own hate, self-hate upon you to get a reaction, which is nasty, okay? Clear yourself of it either way. Bring yourself back into balance with who you are, okay? Because that's, you truly are a very remarkable soul. You've got so much to offer the world, Gemini, so much more to come as well. So don't sell yourself short all the time with all of these doubts and, you know, false beliefs about who you really are. And if it's hard to get out of it, it keeps on going through your head, ask for assistance to clear it from the higher levels, to clear it karmically, you know, really believe in that because that is more powerful than anything, okay? And you're going to be fine. Things are going to happen and things are going to change and have hope for your future, okay? Don't let those people that were always putting you down win, okay, by you constantly believing it. Forget it, you know? You get to flip the bird to them energetically by actually being happy and being successful. That's how you do it. That's the best way to get, you know, if you really have to focus on anything like that, Focus on just moving forward and being happy because that'll drive someone who's negative nuts. All right. Better than anything else. Okay. And, it, and you're being positive about it. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Gemini, for listening. And now I'm doing uh, the amazing Libra. Libra. Okay. What, what's been going on with you? You're just an amazing, amazing person. And you need to know that, Libra. Don't, don't be doubting yourself, okay? A lot of the air signs tend to get in their head, of course, a little bit. That's okay. No one's going to diss you here. All right. Libra, let's go. I am using, oh, sorry, I'll tell you what I'm using. In case you haven't watched any other videos today, I'm using the um, Mythic Tarot. I'm waiting for my finger to heal properly and I'm going to get my nails again. Okay, I'm using the Mythic Tarot. I've also got these little cards from Gypsy, uh, gypsy cards from Hungary. Just, I don't know, they were like five bucks. Um, gypsy cards, just to give us a little bit of a message. And also, I'm using the Domino Love Angels little deck that I have made. Well, I haven't created, finished creating it yet, but I will. Okay, so we're using the Domino Love Angels and see where you're healing and uh, where you're, uh, sorry, where you're healing and maybe, you know, what to look for in a relationship as well. Okay, so I'm also, of course, I have my Auralite crystal. I've also been working with this particular crystal, which is uh, rose quartz and clear quartz with all the chakra colors down the middle. Now, I use this sometimes when I'm doing my meditation and also healing pulling away entanglements okay 
So let's have a look, Libra, what's going on here. Okay, what's happening for Libra? I'm sort of doing like um, asking about like what's happening now, what you've been feeling, what's happening in the near future. Okay, if you want to look at your moon and rising signs, see if they sort of make sense to you as well. Uh, that's always a good thing. And if you want something more in-depth or you want healing or you want to talk to me on the phone and have a counseling session or a reading over the phone, please get in contact with me, divinemiracles.com. Okay, Libra. Right, so what I'm doing here is sort of just taking three cards about these different sections of our life. Oops, for Libra. Okay, so there's some interesting energy for Libra. And I'm going to keep my crystal on that. So the first sort of thing that I get here is about the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so there's a generous situation. Maybe uh, you've been really generous and, you know, this is getting paid back to you now. This is King Midas. Anything he touched turned to gold. Okay, he's able to create anything. He's able to do anything uh, he wishes by manifesting it into thought. He doesn't even think about it not happening. And that's, that's mostly the problem with people when they're trying to manifest is they say, oh yes, I'm, you know, I'm going to do all the affirmations, but I just want to know how it's going to happen. Or I just don't, I feel like there's something that's going to block me. You know, what's blocking me? You know, what's, what's going to come forward? Someone's going to come forward and ruin it. So a lot of people that can't manifest things are often thinking about the reasons why they shouldn't have something, basically, okay? King Midas doesn't do that. He's just like, you know what, there it is. It's going to happen. I have no doubt in the world. And that's how you have to feel about yourself too. And maybe that's what you've been doing as well, is like lifting yourself into this new direction of just being able to manifest things, okay? And I feel like um, this has come through a lot of contemplation, a lot of thinking or overthinking, um, there's been some emotional situations as well. You know, you've been going through the ups and downs of life. Um, you know, you've had a lot of different things to focus on. And because of this, you know, like you've been doing this inner work on yourself, you've come to realization points about where what really works for you and what doesn't. Because this stuff here, this Five of Swords energy, even though you've got Apollo it's like even though you've got Apollo um, with you in this card here, you're thinking that he is sort of telling you off. So there's a, a feeling of, um, when I see this card, there's a feeling of um, you're going to get in trouble for something or you're not doing something right or people are judging you for some reason, right? And maybe it's someone that you really deeply care about that you really want to get their attention or their approval or their support. And... You think that that person is looking at you thinking that you're stupid or that you've made all the wrong decisions. And it's in this case, it's Apollo, right? And the energy here is like, he's actually on your side. He's actually, he sees exactly what you're doing, what you're trying to achieve and where you're going. He's so proud of you. And he's trying to shut up all of that turmoil in you. Like where you're beating yourself up or worrying about anything. He's saying, stop doing this to yourself. I'm right here. I love you. I support you. I'm, um, you know, working with you. I'm not against you at all. I think you're amazing. So whatever it is that you have in your mind or whoever it is that you're thinking of that you feel that you need to prove something to, you need to stop doing it, whether they're alive or, or have passed, you know. And I know myself, you know, when I think about my grandmother or I think about my brother, I want them to be looking down and and saying, okay, she's doing awesome things. And sometimes I think they're looking down and going, ooh, what are you doing? You know, but that's my own uh, doubt and concern, right? Whoever it is that, you know, you would like to understand you already does. Okay, so you need to put that into the back of your mind because it's creating a little bit of, um, you know, self-doubt within yourself because you really want everybody to see you for who you really are. And... When you get rid of that feeling of needing people to approve of what you're doing, you're going to feel so much better. Like really, in reality, no one can understand you completely but yourself. So just let yourself live and do what you want to do. 
as long as it's bringing happiness and not hurting anybody, you know, intentionally hurting anybody, then it, there's nothing wrong with what you're doing. It's, it's awesome. All those who look upon it, you know, will be looking upon it positively. Okay, so don't let your mind run away with you. You're doing an amazing job. Okay, carrying a lot, but you're doing an amazing job. All right, let's have a look what these little um, cards have to say as well. Okay, for Libra, just just get yourself feeling, you know, balanced in who you are. Someone's coming forward and they're going to help you out, okay, financially I feel. Um, or the money that you need is going to be there, the loan that you're looking for, whatever that kind of, where you're waiting on money to arrive, it's coming, okay. And possibly even an offer. And look, you even got the money card in your reading. Okay, in this little reading, and the money is coming. You've got money, bags of it. Okay, and it also shows your ability to manifest what you're thinking about. So don't put the doubt on your manifestations. And also a visit comes up here. Someone's going to visit you, and it looks like two two females talking. Someone bringing you something, maybe some look some flowers here. Something. There's a visit, and sometimes it's people who have already. Like we were talking about before, people who've passed away um, and they come and visit you and it may, they may show you a symbol of something that would help you to recognize. Maybe like it is here, maybe they show you some flowers, roses or something that they used to like to plant um, in the garden or something that's symbolic to you, you may see come up in dreams, you know. Um, you may be getting this mediumship or it may be an actual visit, someone bringing you something Hopefully they're bringing you a big pile of money like this, um, but it's, it is showing your ability to totally manifest. Don't think about anything but it being yours, you know, and don't limit how that can actually come about. Okay, and finally where you're healing, what you're working on. Okay, here it comes. Okay. We've got Archangel Uriel here, anxiety and stress. Okay, so it's saying that it's blocking your way forward, having this bit of anxiety within you. It's time to release anything holding you back from true love. Love for yourself is most important as well. Obstacles will need to be faced with positive words and actions, okay? So when something comes up, don't immediately think to yourself, oh my God, it's all going wrong and oh, I should have listened to my instincts. Just say, okay, this is happening. It's happening for a reason. Something is blocking me right now from being where I need to be to keep me safe. Something's protecting me from a situation, whatever it is. Try to see the positive of anything. Now, if you're feeling anxiety and stress, make sure that it's not somebody else's, okay? Because I realized you know, not so long ago, I guess, that for so many years I was suffered from extreme anxiety and agoraphobia and it wasn't even my stuff, right? It's like a light bulb moment. And if I ever get anxiety now or I feel it, I know straight away I'm like, it's not mine. I wonder who's got anxiety. And then I realize, oh my God, you need to block yourself and clear yourself a little bit more, you know, if you're, if you're absorbing that much, you know, and it can happen. You know, if you forget to just reinforce your shields when you're an empath, you know, that's almost like you're going to make yourself really sick because you'll just be picking up stuff everywhere. So anxiety, stress, is it mine? No, it's not mine. Okay, it needs to go with love and light, asking the angels to take care of it um, because this is blocking your way forward. When things come up in your life, you tend to internalize and think you're on top of it but really you're stressing out and you can't sleep and then you might be upset and then all of a sudden you clear all that away and then you can think straight again it's like it doesn't need to get to all those parts <laughs> you just need to let the angels come in and help okay you guys take care of this crap because I'm tired of dealing with it so thank you and detach and it goes okay but the anxiety stress here work with Archangel Uriel to release anything holding you back from love and from loving yourself. And you could even be in a relationship right now and feeling this anxiety and worry. It's time to cut it out because it's only damaging yourself, you know. 
It's not helping you get anywhere. It's just blocking your way forward. But um, Libra, you know, look, look forward to visits and gifts and, you know, the money that you need going to be there. You know, don't beat yourself up anymore and uh, don't let others make you feel that way either. It's time to really, and we're all doing it, we're all clearing out the garbage. You know, we don't need it hanging around us anymore. We don't need anyone around us that makes us feel sad in any way or upset or, or useless or worthless or not good enough or anything. True friends, as I put a big thing here, doesn't matter how long it is between phone calls or visits, doesn't matter how many messages you missed or whatever, a true friend will always have your back, right? No matter what, you know. And if anyone's got a problem with it, you know, or is causing you because you're growing and you're changing and you're lifting and you're you're living your life, if someone's got a problem with it, they weren't really a friend in the first place. They were a taker. There's someone that just wanted all your time and attention. That's not really a true friend. True friend doesn't matter how long between calls, you just pick up the phone and you can just start off. Like, you know, oh, hey, how you been? Oh, my God, it's been full on, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what it's all about. And people have understanding. Otherwise, it's just some kind of weird thing and you don't want that anymore. Okay? All right. So thank you all for listening. I was trying to make these really quick, but I didn't. And <laughs> that's just how it is. But until the next time, lots of love, many, many blessings and goodbye for now.